Hello. How interesting meeting you here. Are you following me, perhaps? Well, it just seems like you're always everywhere I go. <laughs> well, anyway, I wanted to ask you something. Saturday is right behind the corner. In fact, it's tomorrow. I was wondering, are you free or are you doing something else? What am I saying? Even if you were busy, you will find a way to free yourself if a golden opportunity presents itself to you. Isn't that right? <laughs> yeah, well, just in case you're interested, I think you should know I got two tickets for a movie and I need someone to share them with. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, that's not the kind of movie you want to see with a friend. I need someone who can hold me if I get scared. Yes, the movie I'd like to watch is a horror one, and I'm afraid I'm going to have to give up on the idea. Why? Oh, well, because I haven't found anyone who wants to watch it with me. How cruel can the world be? <laughs> well, likely enough, the world is also full of smart people who understand the clear cues, and I'm sure one of them will save me, right? Oh, I see, I see. You're acting dumb because you want to play hard to get. Well, that's fine, you know. You don't really need to do that. I'm officially asking you out on a date. I know, I know, you don't see a girl being so direct every day. Well, I'm special. I know that very well, and everyone keeps reminding me that. Even though sometimes they don't mean it in a flattering manner. <laughs> Whatever, I don't need to care about the opinion of those envious peasants. I'd rather hear your response to my invitation. That's sure to be much more interesting, and you won't be a thing veiled in salt either. Because you don't despise me like those people, right? You wouldn't destroy my self-esteem just to bring your own a little bit higher. Hmm? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That wasn't polite of me, but you must admit that was probably the funniest thing you could have said at the moment. I mean, why would you refuse me? <laughs> Do you despise me? Do you want me to, you know, fall into despair? What you just said wasn't really nice, not at all. Sure, we can continue this conversation in private. It will help me express my views without fearing the scorching eyes of these people around us. Yes, let's go somewhere we can stay alone. I know just the place, if you will follow me. <laughs> Come on! Here we are. 
Is it romantic here? It almost feels like true love could suddenly invade this grove and show happiness and fulfillment for us both. Oh, and enlightenment, of course. That's the idea, and it's also what I want to give you right now, <laughs> you know? Well, that's meaning because you aren't being reasonable. You said you already had an appointment with friends for tomorrow. Oh, well, what's the problem? Just conceal it. You don't need to go if you don't want to. Well, unless you have been dishonest. And what you truly mean is that you don't want to come with me. You're avoiding me, aren't you? You believe those lies they've been telling about me? You're afraid of me! Well, at least I'm sure where the rumors have started spreading from. I know exactly where to find that girl and give her a reason to be afraid of me. One that is in the cut head of her doll flying out the window. No. This time I'll have to do something different, something more drastic, so that she will never ever think about crossing me like this. I'll kill her. Nobody can stand on my path to happiness. Well, I'm just telling you what I'm going to do. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? After all, you don't really care. And you also have something important to do tomorrow. I guess that's a perfect day to kill her. Then all those idiots who took you away from me, of course. Well, in fact... If you really did come with me tomorrow, I'd have much less free time on my hands. <laughs> well, I wish you actually want to come then. I mean, that's what I want, and it's probably also the thing those people want you to do if they knew the alternative. But don't worry, no, shh, 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 shh. no pressure, darling. Just freely. Just know that if you don't stop me, I'll go on a terrible murder spree to avenge the affront to my happiness, dignity, and you have done nothing to prevent it. How tragic. Just because you didn't want to indulge me with a little tiny date. <laughs> How terrible must that feel? Well, I wouldn't know. I'm not the one going through this terrible emotional conjure after all. But you know. If you aren't sure what to do, you can always count on me for help. So don't worry about a thing. If you have a problem, you can tell me about it. I'll even destroy whatever is causing problems for you in the future. Well, with that said, I think it's time you finally made a decision, dear. I know you're busy, but you're absolutely positively sure you don't have a way to free yourself for this Saturday night. I would really, really appreciate it. More than you could ever imagine to. You're so adorable and so reasonable and kind to me and to others. I can't imagine how powerful to an ascent you will be in a family. Ah, uh, uh, nothing, nothing, of course. I was just wondering a little bit. But you know, thank you again for accepting my date. I'll text you to tell you where to meet up, don't worry. Yeah, sure, I already have your number phone. I already thought about everything. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.